It's important to note heat safety, especially when it comes to working outdoors. Here's some important reminders. So definitely drink a cup of cool water every 20 minutes, even if you are not thirsty as you could become dehydrated. Make sure to take regular breaks to rest during hot conditions. Skipping breaks really is not safe as you could definitely uh, suffer from heat exhaustion or heat stroke there. Wear loose, lightweight and light colored clothing. More so maybe wearing those white t-shirts or lighter jeans or pants likely to help with the heat. Just know that black wearing black attracts heat and it makes you hotter during the hotter times of the day and during sunny days there. So it's, uh, definitely seek periodic breaks in the AC if possible and spend time in the shades if you are outdoors. Of course, the sun bearing down on us, it definitely could uh, heat us up and it's definitely seeing we're seeing those sweltering and scorching hot temps likely to last at least through the next seven days. So far as the rest of this afternoon, highs in the triple digits by the 3 p.m. hour. We are seeing this high pressure heat dome that's just encompassing the Rio Grande Valley and across Texas there. And the reason being is that that high pressure system, when air sinks from the upper levels of the atmosphere, it likes to warm up. So as long as that system's there, we're going to see those temps just above those seasonal normals. And unfortunately, it's just really not going away anytime soon, especially for the next seven days. So highs in the hundreds, lows in the 70s and 80s. We're going to start seeing that high start building a back across the central portion of the state going into the start of next week. So it's just really not no change in our forecast, at least for the unforeseeable future. We're not even expecting any showers that could cool us off heading into the next few days there. So definitely uh, practice those heat safety measures. It's turning out to be a very hot June as we ring in the those summer months there. So for the next seven days for your seven day forecast highs in the hundreds, triple digit temps likely to last through Monday and Tuesday overnight lows in the 80s. So first day of summer today feeling much like it as we head into the rest of our work week.